hello welcome to nutrition american today we'll be making samosas beef samosas and these are my ingredients brown beef 93 percent seven percent fat these are all the spices like i like to use you can use whatever you like this is lemon pepper this is like beef masala this is just like a prime rib roast seasoning more stick seasoning this is pepper red pepper flakes cayenne pepper some salt and be mindful some of these seasonings do have salt so be mindful when you're seasoning it this is a garlic and herb cooking oil this is wheat flour to make a paste that we're gonna be using to bind the samosa pockets i also like to use this is green hot pepper i think this is like jalapeno this is spring onions and this is cilantro this is like white onion or yellow onion and this is the red onion that i also like to use so yeah this is everything that i'll be using today stay tuned if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe share and like this video and thank you for all the support these are the uncooked flat wheat flour tortillas that i like to use some people do know how to make them from scratch but I just normally would buy them, but these are uncooked. And this is what I'm going to use for the samosa pockets. In a pot, I'm going to put my ground beef in there and let it cook in low heat. Right now, it's just plain. And I'll go step by step showing you when I actually put the spices and stuff like that. But I first let it cook completely before I can actually put in my spices. This is how it looks when it's done. It's all dry. I didn't add any water. We do low heat and I let it cook it with its own water. At this step, I'm gonna add all my spices. I'm adding a tablespoon of each of the spices that I sh shown earlier. This is lemon pepper. I'm just doing a tablespoon. It honestly depends on how you want them to be flavorful. You can do more, less. Salt, I'm just gonna do a little bit. Maybe half a tablespoon or less. And then you can taste the meat as you go. This is beef masala. Cayenne pepper, not too much. It depends on how spicy you want them. So be careful. These are the pepper, the red pepper flakes. Again, it depends on how spicy you want them. So these are basically all the spices that I shown earlier. So all this in the dough. So you mix all the spices in. Mix them like that. Are the spring onions. Up.
like spicy. It depends on how spicy you want. Your samosas. I don't like them too spicy. So, all the mixture goes in. Goes in. Lots of it. And of course you mix. So for me, I like it when it looks like this. Green. mixture for two to three minutes and that's about it see that's how i move it with that color still green then i'm gonna turn off the stove and i'm going to let this mixture cool down now i'm going to make a paste that i'll be using to bind the samosa pockets this is wheat flour you know just like how you make the pancakes i'm gonna make a little paste that's how the consistency looks like and this is the paste that I'll be using to make the samosa pockets. This is what I use to make the, the samosa pockets. Is this kind? Of, I honestly have never used this one, but this one looks like it has a tin in there. I normally use this one. This has twelve round uncooked flat tortillas i normally cut it in half so i normally get 24. um so today i'll see how this comes out this is how they look like so this is 18 of them they're in the yellow bag so i normally cut this in half As I fold them, I normally still like to put them inside the original bag so that they don't dry up. This is how, so this is how I fold it. I, I cut it in half. This faces away from me. And then I take one side and, and fold it, not really halfway. Like that. I put a little paste there, a little bit paste on this other side, and then and I do like that. Now I'm pretty sure there's so many other ways of doing this. I've tried 
all those other ways and this is what works for me this is how it looks like so when I put the meat in there this is gonna be the flap but this is how it looks like I'm gonna put it also in a zip lock as I make them so that they don't dry up again this is how it looks like I normally take one edge and kind of fold it like that. You just want the other flap to kind of fit with the other one. So it looks like that. So I'm going to put some paste on here. Paste on the other side like that. Then I normally press at this little corner right here and press them together and fix right here like that so that you have that smooth sharp see so this is the ground beef you normally start with a little bit to get it down the most slender part of the pocket And then I gradually add it in there, like that. Take the paste, I put it in the corners like that, there and there. I press in the middle, right there. So again, I pick the pocket, I start with a little bit ground beef, I press it in gently like that. Take some flour, the paste, put it like that, then I press right here. Then it's almost like you're pulling this downwards to give it a good seal. Like that. Make sure you, you get those corners nicely. That's how it looks like. These samosas are actually tiny. So it depends on how big you want them or how tiny you want them. So. A little flower. Flour. I press here like that so don't put too much you press a little bit like that act like you're pulling this flat fold it down it's gonna look like this and fix these little edges like that So I have a wok, I like using a wok, my oil is hot, um, this is what I'm going to use to remove the beef samosas, this is, this is the end, the end result right there, I really didn't fold all of them, there were too many, this is like maybe 26 of them. I also normally put them in here. I have two of them. Prepping samosas is the hardest part. Frying them, I find it easy. 
the meat is already done so they really don't have to fry for so long I do like four at a time my oil is really hot This is my last batch that I'm putting in. <clears throat> if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's continue spreading out through cooking. Cooking is very therapeutic when you're stressed. You can just come and concentrate in the kitchen and just make a dish that you like. It's a way of therapy. And that's it. That's how it looks inside. This is the final product. That's how they look like. Thank you for joining me today. This is Mpishi Marikani. Today we made beef samosas. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit the like button. Until next time, thank you so much for being here. I do really appreciate it.